going back to a place close to my heart. This time, we got access for free. As part of the United Arab Emirates commitment celebrating and supporting frontline professionals, Frontline Heroes Office has partnered with Aldar Properties, Etihad Aviation Group, and Abu Dhabi Department of Culture and Tourism, who will each provide services and discounts to those serving on the frontline. These entities recognize the importance of supporting those who have cared for our community and serve our nation. They offered free access with up to three guests. You just have to pre-book your complimentary Frontline Hero tickets in their website. Their offer is valid for 6 months from October 21. The Department of Culture and Tourism Abu Dhabi or the DCT Abu Dhabi said that they are collaborating with the Frontline Heroes Office to demonstrate gratitude for the dedication of the frontliners. DCT Abu Dhabi said that this is their way of encouraging the frontliners to take some time to reflect, recharge, and reconnect with their creative sides. As the frontliners have healed and protected so many in our community, may the treasures contained within the iconic venue comfort and replenish them in turn, said the Undersecretary of the Department of Culture and Tourism. Located in the Sadiyat Island, poised with the sand and sea, designed by the world-renowned French architect Jean Nouvel, a cool shaded haven during the day and an oasis of light beneath a latticework dome. Hello and welcome to the Universal Museum, Louvre Abu Dhabi. Visiting an art gallery can be fun, stimulating and thought-provoking. However, it can also be perplexing and alienating, making you feel unsure about what you are looking at. Regardless of whether you feel that this is because there is too much or not enough information available, the layout of the artwork or building is intimidating, or that you need more guidance on how to approach art, everyone should be able to enjoy a gallery trip. It should be a positive experience that is defined by your own interest, but also your willingness to be pleasantly surprised and guided out of your comfort zone. Art galleries can be inspiring places to visit, but they can also be baffling. Even the most consensuous art lover will have felt the sensation of at least once, of wandering through room after room of art with a growing sense of disorientation. Art can be enigmatic, composed of ideas and symbols that are not always easy to read or make sense of. Here, I want to offer some simple pieces of advice that may make your next trip to an art gallery just a bit more satisfying. The Louvre Museum Abu Dhabi is the very first of its kind in the UAE, a universal museum that's the result of a collaborative effort between Abu Dhabi and France. If you're thinking that the Louvre Abu Dhabi is just a replication of the Louvre Paris, then you are dead wrong. The name is indicative of the Arab-French collaboration, but no more than that. The best thing to do before visiting the Louvre Museum is to buy your ticket before going there. There are smartphone tickets, so you don't have to print them. You just have to pick a time slot. Before you head to the Louvre, you should also know the opening and the closing times. Louvre Abu Dhabi is open year-round except on Mondays. You can visit Louvre Abu Dhabi any season of the year. Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And on Thursdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. In at least one room, you pass through, settle in for a while. Art galleries are best enjoyed at a glacial pace, where a few meaningful connections are more satisfying than a myriad of momentary glimpses. To slow down yourself, try pausing for a longer than you normally would in one room, preferably a room with a seat or just a floor. Sit down. Take the weight off your feet. Remove yourself from the ebb and flow of the gallery visitors and begin to have your own experience. The idea is to imitate something of spirit of the act of artistic creation. When an artist makes a piece of work, 
They usually do so in a studio or workshop, probably surrounded by other paintings, some finished and some halfway through. The artist may be concentrating on making one painting at a time or working across several pieces simultaneously. Either way, they will be aware of all the pieces around them, about the dialogue between one work and another, and the interchange between imagination and environment. By spending some time in one room, you get the chance to make the same types of links, a self-directed process of perceiving a dialogue between colors, form, and subject matter across the different works of art. Many people flock to Abu Dhabi to see the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, Ferrari World Abu Dhabi, or the Emirates Palace. The Louvre Abu Dhabi Museum introduces a new attraction, an attraction that is one of the most innovative museum projects to be built in recent times. Even if museums are not your favorite thing, it is worth a visit for the structural significance alone. There is no other museum complex quite like this anywhere else in the world. Abu Dhabi government held a series of exhibitions on Sudiyat Island even as the Loop Abu Dhabi was being constructed. The idea was to get people used to seeing great artworks displayed in Abu Dhabi and to anticipate the opening of the Loop Abu Dhabi with enthusiasm. In some art galleries, you can literally feel the urge like the flow of blood through your arteries towards the most famous works on display. If you have ever been to the Louvre in Paris, home to the Mona Lisa, you'll know the feeling of being swept along by crowds of urgent sightseers toward the particular room with a painting behind the bulletproof of glass. Visiting a gallery and seeing one of the standout pieces is a thrill that hardly needs explaining. For me, the pleasure of walking into a room and seeing a famous Van Gogh say does not diminish in many years. Even if I have to crane my neck and jostle for elbow room, the joy always survives. Still, it's worth sparing a thought for those artworks everyone else is ignoring, because their time is probably just a rewarding. The fame of an individual work of art does not always indicate its merits. Stand in front of a lesser known artwork and you'll have time and space to yourself an up-close view and most of all, a more unique experience compared to everyone else. You may even find a kindred spirit in that singular work. The Louvre Abu Dhabi is the result of a 30-year agreement between the French government and the city of Abu Dhabi. The Louvre Abu Dhabi is located in the Sadiyat Island Cultural District. The total area is approximately 260,000 square feet. The building's cost is expected to be about 146 million US dollars. The government of Abu Dhabi had to pay 525 million US dollars to the French government in order to be associated with the Louvre Paris name. That apart, the government of Abu Dhabi will be shelling out an additional 747 million US dollars to various international museums in exchange for art loans, special exhibitions, and management advice. The French government approved the establishment of Abu Dhabi's Louvre on October 9, 2007. The idea is to obtain several permanent works of art for the Louvre Abu Dhabi over time but to showcase artwork from around the world on loan in the meantime. Special focus will be placed to bridge the gap between Eastern and Western art. The Paris Louvre has signed up to its name to Abu Dhabi's Louvre for a period of 30 years and 6 months. The Paris Louvre has also agreed to collaborate for temporary exhibitions for a period of 15 years and loan its artworks for 10 years. Abu Dhabi collaborated with the Louvre Paris and by doing this, sealed a partnership with the world's most popular and most visited museum. Not only this, but by choosing the Lou Paris, Abu Dhabi has partnered with a museum that's always believed in reaching out to the world and speak to the public via the annals of art. The Lou Abu Dhabi Museum has also partnered with the Paris Sorbonne University 
in order to establish a master's program for museum professionals so that they can be trained to respond to local art needs and art education. Don't worry about not knowing enough. In the great halls of an art gallery, we can all feel confined by our own lack of knowledge. I'm not one of those people who says your reading of a work of art can never be wrong. Some artworks are made of a precise collection of signs and symbols that offer a complex and subtle message. Armed with information about that, your engagement with the work is bound to be richer for it. But there's also a tremendous advantage to seeing a work of art with fresh, unshuttered eyes where the textbooks have not yet guided your expectations. Artworks are journeys into uncharted territories. In this way, it helps to have not charted the territory too much yourself. The museum has been described as the gift to the world, which will open the world's eyes to a new perspective. The Louvre is set to enhance Abu Dhabi's status within the UAE and also solidifies the UAE's position in the world of art as a nation that truly appreciates art and culture. Learn more about one individual work before you arrive. Just one piece is enough. There is nothing quite as satisfying as approaching a work of art with which you have made prior acquaintance. The connection has already begun and only depends on seeing the work in real life. So before you arrive, try spending 10 minutes reading about a specific work that you know the gallery has on display. Find out about the year it was made in, what it depicts or is trying to say, and maybe a bit about the artist too. Then, when you eventually find that work in the gallery, it will feel like meeting an old friend. Make it easy on yourself by sticking to just one piece, rather than overloading yourself with too much to remember. If you do, I'm confident it will reward your gallery visit with a new level of intimacy. A visit to the Louvre Abu Dhabi will bring people face to face with incredible masterpieces from all historical periods and from around the world. Masterpieces never seen outside of Europe before. The magnificent building beautifully complements the incredible artworks it holds, making a visit to the Louvre Abu Dhabi the highlight of any art lover's life. Lastly, if you have visited any of the United Arab Emirates, you know that each building project is bigger and better than the last one. The museum's web-patterned dome allows the sun to filter through bringing to mind the way sunlight filters through date palm fronts in an oasis. The intricate multi-layered lace dome is cladded with millions of stars, creating beautiful perforations through which a sun rays pour in, creating a lovely contrast of light and shade. If you can tear your eyes away from this mesmerizing sight, you'll notice how the museum's prominence overlook the sea. And here we are waiting for the sun to set, watching the other visitors do their kayaking that is also offered in the museum. There is also a dedicated section for kids where a plethora of art, installation, and paintings by famous artists are displayed to titillate youthful imaginations. That apart, the Louvre Abu Dhabi has about 20,000 square feet of space set aside for temporary exhibitions. The entire structure is an impressive work of art over the water and a joy to look at while crossing over to Sadiyat Island. The Louvre Abu Dhabi Universal Museum encompasses a series of stunning white structures that are meant to reflect an Arabian city. An amazing spectacle on water, the Louvre Abu Dhabi is the most significant element of the vibrant Sadiyat cultural district. Somehow, somewhere, an interest is kindled. I make this point because we all come to art from a different perspective. We have to start somewhere. So don't worry about not knowing enough. Like novels, works of art, or fictional worlds, they are to be experienced first and foremost. They are composed and constructed according to notions of aesthetic rightness. 
experiments into what the imagination can experience and the senses can relish. Art is something that makes you breathe with a different kind of happiness. Hope your next art gallery visit will never be boring. Whether you're interested in discovering the ancient gems of Egypt or learning about the post-impressionist works of Van Gogh. Well, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching! Merci beaucoup!